everybody welcome to my channel my name is pixie love you guys can call me pixie and today we're doing some r slash fat logic where these people remind me on a daily basis why i'm trying to lose weight as new year gets closer please keep your fat friends in mind before making a post about how your neck about how your goal for the next year is to look less like them being fat is great you effers see this is why I feel like I have to talk about this because these people are so self-centered, so self-absorbed, so single-minded that they think when someone doesn't want to be fat or overweight, it's because they don't want to look like them. It's not about anyone else but the person trying to lose weight. It's really not. It's not about freaking Marissa. It's not about freaking Tess Holiday. It's because me, myself, and I don't want to be fat. I don't care if you're fat. I don't care if you're okay with being fat. I don't care if you like being fat. I don't and I don't want to be fat. I don't care how you fucking look. I care about myself, okay? So stop being so self-absorbed and only caring about yourself and thinking you're the only person in the entire universe and we all care so much about you that we don't want to be you. I hate doctors. Hashtag don't. Hashtag medical trigger warning. Hashtag my joints pain isn't because I'm fat, it's because I'm ill. Hashtag I hate skinny doctors, I hate them so much. Hashtag it makes it hard to lose weight, I don't want to. I don't, I want to be healthy. <clears throat> I want to be healthy, not skinny. Hashtag Christ, hashtag fat phobia trigger warning. H here's the thing, here's the thing. You guys equate being skinny with being healthy. We talked about it, that's not necessarily the truth. You also think that anyone who is just at a normal healthy weight is just skinny. You treat the word skinny in the same way that you feel like people treat the word fat. You like say it with so much hate and vigor, like skinny, like oh my God, I hate skinny people. Like it's, bro, it's kind of weird. Second of all, my joint paints my joint pain isn't because I'm fat, it's because I'm ill. Have you tried not being fat to see if that's an issue? Because I've talked about it before, doctors are gonna diagnose you with the most likely outcome. And nine times out of 10, someone who is overweight is having joint pains, it's because of their weight. And it's easier to be like, it's because of your weight. They can't eliminate that factor without you eliminating that factor. It's kind of hard to prove otherwise, because that's normally what it is. So maybe try losing weight to see if that helps. And if you're still having joint pains, then they can figure out what's wrong with you. Because right now it just seems like, hmm, you're overweight. What do you mean allegedly? I weighed 500 pounds, worked a physical job at Amazon, ate 800 cal 1,800 calories a day, and didn't lose weight over a month. My metabolism is shit. I guarantee you, you wasn't eating 1,800 calories a day. That was probably your calories for just your meals. But did you add the calories for your drinks? Did you add the calories for your snacks? Did you add the calories? Because there's no way you're eating 1,800 calories a day at 500 pounds and not losing weight. If you do it to a T, you're losing weight. But you're probably not losing weight. You're probably eating way more than you think. You're probably also sneaking and eating food and not letting other people know. According to my 600 pound life, when they're like six, 700 pounds and they eat 1,500 calories a day, they should lose like 100 pounds in a month. So you should have lost like even half that, 50 pounds. So there's no way you weren't eating that much food. Being extremely skinny is probably more dangerous than being morbidly obese, honestly. There are people who live up, people who live to be 600 pounds, but if you drop below 80 pounds, you're practically dead. All right, before we get into the hashtags. Um, you're practically dead if you're living over 600 pounds. It's a ticking time bomb at that point. If you're over 600 pounds and if you're under 80 pounds, depending on your height and age and stuff like that, you are basically a ticking time bomb. And at that point, you need to start getting healthy to put yourself in a better chance of surviving and living longer for both weights, okay? This is hashtag ED, hashtag like, yeah, being 600 pounds isn't healthy, obviously, but people who are like 200, 300, doesn't guarantee health problems that are caused by weight. Hashtag any statistics that say fat people are extremely unhealthy fail to recognize that extreme fat phobia in medicine. Or maybe you fail to realize that people who are like 
200, 300 pounds, 400 pounds, tend to have more medical issues. And insurance companies have noticed it and doctors have noticed it. And what's the common denominator? Not their race, not their background, not their ethnicity, not where they're from, but their weight is their common background. So they're using weight as a way to be like, hmm, all these people that come from all different walks of life that are morbidly obese and extremely overweight are having very similar issues. What could it be? Could it be the food? No, it's the fucking weight. Okay, second of all, being 200 or 300 pounds doesn't guarantee health problems, but it does give you a significantly higher chance of having health problems. Smoking cigarettes doesn't guarantee you're gonna have lung cancer, but it significantly gives you a higher chance of having lung cancer. Just like you can get lung cancer without smoking cigarettes. You can get a lot of the diseases, a lot of diseases without being overweight, but it just ups your chance of doing it if you're overweight. I really hate fat phobia and how it's our own fault we're fat. And like ignoring the fact that it's really truly okay to be fat. Cause like honestly, I don't eat that much. I eat like one or two meals a day and I don't eat very much cause of nausea. I have a snack like vegetables and such, but that's about it. Not to say if you're fat and you do eat a lot, that's that you should feel bad and stop doing that. I'm just like tired of it. I guarantee you you're not eating as little as you think. Because honestly, I used to think the same way. I used to be like, I'm not eating a lot. I eat like one, two, two meals a day. I'm not eating this, I'm not eating a lot. Yet at the same time, I was having two to three Pepsis a day. Um, I was eating Starbucks, drinking Starbucks every day. I was snacking all the damn time. My portion size was fucking huge. And to me, I was like, I'm not eating that much. I don't understand why I'm not losing weight. And when I actually started fully tracking my calories, I'm like, God motherfucking damn, I'm eating a lot. So you might not think you're eating a lot, but you're fucking eating a lot, okay? Like, you are. You don't just get fat by not eating. That's not how it fucking works. Something nonsense. Hashtag whining, hashtag fat phobia trigger warning. Hashtag get halfway through a few biscuits and stop because you're overwhelmed nause nauseous. <laughs> yes, I'm sure I'm eating a lot of food. This is this is a lot of food. Hashtag ugh. First of all, getting through a few biscuits. Not one, a few. See, this person thinks like two, three or four biscuits isn't a lot of food. I'm pretty sure like those little like biscuits, like the des oh, oh my god, what is it called? The Pillsbury biscuits are like what, 200 calories a biscuit? That's 600 calories right there if you're eating four of them, but you get nauseous after eating that much. That's a whole meal. 600 calories is about a meal, all right? And you're eating a meal of just biscuits. Not to mention anything else you're eating. Like, oh my God. I did, I'm just assuming three to four, but a few is three or more. So, oh my God, wait, if you're eating four, that's 800 calories. So three is already a meal's worth. You're eating a lot, see? Like you don't think you're eating a lot of food, but you're eating a lot of fucking food. Oh my God. And can we talk about, I think I've talked about it before. I used to love Tumblr, but I don't understand why you use your hashtags to create more sentences. I know you can, and that's kind of how it works, but why don't you just put that in your original post? Why does it have to be your full hashtag? No one's going to, hashtag get halfway through a few biscuits and stop because I'm overwhelmingly nauseous. Like no one uses that hashtag. So why do you have to use that as a fucking hashtag? For real, if I see something that's really cute but not in my size, I'm buying it to keep in my drawer and gatekeep from the skinnies. Once again, you guys use skinny like a, f it's kind of creepy. Like it's like, it's like, what if someone are like, yeah, I'm gonna buy all the plus size clothes to keep away from the fatty. It's like y'all would lose your fucking shits. But no, it's okay for you to be like, I'm gonna keep this from the skinny because the skinny people are pure evil. It's weird. It's kind of delusional and it's kind of scary because like, bro, like you're, obs you guys are obsessive. It's kind of, it's like, it's kind of like you guys, are, I guarantee you most normal weight and healthy weight people do not obsess over fat people as much as you guys obsess over skinny people. Like you think that we think about, not weight because I'm not skinny, but you think that they think about you guys all day and how to make your lives miserable and how to do this and that. So you spend your time trying to find ways to make their lives miserable and annoyed and frustrated when they don't care. No one cares. They are not thinking about how to make fat people's lives miserable, but yet they're on your mind all the time. All you can think about is skinny people. All you can think about. It's kind of creepy. 
and once again horrifying why are you so obsessed that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys do make sure you guys leave a like in the corners of the screen there's gonna be two videos one is my most recent upload the other one is something that youtube recommends please click on one of those videos in the middle is my little icon you can click on that to subscribe because i do videos monday through friday i'll see you guys tomorrow bye bye